probably should have dropped the trailer. This is a little gnarly. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We are on the road again. We are currently in northern Arizona and we are headed to the Mugion Rim. Mugion? Yeah. It looks like it's spelled Mongolian or Mo Mongolian, but it's uh, Mugion. We've looked it up. It's supposed to be beautiful. So the Mugion Rim is just like 200 miles of a rim, basically. Yeah, like a mini Grand Canyon, kind of. Yeah, and it's the very southern tip of, I believe, the Coconino National Forest and we're headed, there's supposed to be amazing boot knocking there on the ramp. We also read last month the road was closed because because it's been snow, it's been snowing and raining so late in the yeah, season. Yeah, we still have snow drifts on the trail. So we're, we're hoping, I mean, we probably could have called the ranger station. I'm sure checked. it's open, I'm sure it's <laughs> but open. But it's been warm for the past couple of weeks, so I'm sure um, a lot of that snow melt has melted away, or that snow drifts have melted away, and uh, we can get up there, so yeah. Should work out. We should get there right, right before sunset, and then Jimmy has a um, a new dish he's gonna try to cook yeah. us tonight. Yeah, I'm excited. Should be pretty, ex pretty uh, interesting. Like Megan said, something new for us. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to it, and and then to be able to cook a meal on the rim there would just be spectacular. So hopefully it all works out, and goes to plan. Distracted. <laughs> Finally, do some fishing. Yeah, there's supposed to be a lot of trout, trout and some bass. Trout fishing. Be cool. There's supposed to be a lot of lakes. Actually, we could use your help because we're headed from here. We're gonna head into New Mexico to Albuquerque. So oh, yeah. we don't we don't know anything about New Mexico. Yeah, very little. And uh, we know little. we want to go to Santa Fe and north of there. But if anybody has any suggestions of like do not miss in New Mexico, please, please, please drop them in the comments. We'd love to know. Yeah, yeah, we're really excited to see New Mexico. You ready to find camp chicks? Oh, oh. Very cool. <laughs> all right, we got all the water. Filled to the brim. Filled to the brim and all the jugs. So we should have enough water for what, five days? <laughs> <laughs> steep climb all the way up yeah especially full of water but yeah no it's um it's exciting we're really hoping we be able to get the site we want there's people already camped here yeah, just off the road the road was open yeah so step one's good at least we know we can camp here if it there yeah. are issues um, but we're really trying to get that sweet spot Traction control off? Uh, I turned it on. So I don't get so much spin, tire spin.
Come on, Trix. So, this spot was looking promising, but then someone's right on the edge, right where we want to be. So we'll probably have to keep going. But, but you can see. Yeah, you can get a little glimpse of the rim there. It's beautiful up here and the weather's so cool. So if we weren't determined to camp right on the edge, and let's say it was a weekend and not a Tuesday, and this was a spot we found, it's gorgeous. The forest gorgeous. Chucky loves it. There's plenty of space. But I'm a snot and I want to be right on the edge. <laughs> We were gonna drop the trailer, but the road's good enough and we can move fast enough and then eventually we need the trailer there anyway. So That's we might as well true. take it. <laughs> okay, cool. Save us some time. Come on, chicks. Onward. Let's go. Good boy, come on. Go. Good boy. Come on, all the way. <laughs> it's just absolutely wild that this is now fun to us. Yeah. Instead yeah, of nerve wracking. We used to get so stressed out about it. So stressed out Not about it. Not knowing where we were gonna camp. That was before we even had the trailer, when we were camping all over and just overlanding, and we would get so stressed out. I think we have so many more resources now. Yeah, there's like two different apps we use, and then we also use like the Gaia to kind of pinpoint it and see what the road looks like. So I think we're just a little more experienced now. Well, we also just got better going with the flow. Yeah, we're also okay with not getting the perfect spot, which we always try to, but... Right, and if we have to backtrack and yeah. go somewhere else, it's totally fine. I should have dropped the trailer. This is a little gnarly. <laughs> um, and it's a little, I don't know if I have room to turn around and I don't know if I want to reverse through that because it's so tight. So we'll have to ahead. keep going. Okay. Let's see. First time rock stepping with the trailer? Yeah. Yeah, it's about time we get an off road trailer, I think. And Lance just came out with one. Nice. Hey, Lance, you wanna give us a test ride? We would love We've to pretty take you much, up on it. Yeah. <laughs> We've taken our Lance 1575 off road many, many times. And they should let us test out the. The new Enduro. The, the new Enduro. Enduro. We actually got to see it at um, Expo West. Yeah. So we saw a little camp spot on this trail and we're gonna drop the trailer because it's getting a little rough. And perfecto. Good, good, good. All right, well, I think this is a smart choice. I was gonna push it, but there's even a down tree just past us where we're at, so we might as well play it safe. And set up the trailer. I'll track the wheels. Yeah.
funny angle. It was a funny angle. Name that flick. Yeah, you're good. Well, we found an amazing site, but there is absolutely no way we're getting the trailer back here. But we had to come look anyways, and look at this. Oh my God, these are the views that they were talking about. They were saying that the Mugion Rim has the most like expansive scenic views of anywhere in, the, in Arizona. I like can, you can see further. I don't doubt it. Wow. Ooh, it's a sheer drop off. <gasps> it's pretty special. Oh my god. Unfortunately, we can't stay here because we have to find camp. But. We would really like to be able to get to places like this, so we might have to invest in an off-road trailer. But the search continues. There's quite the updraft coming up. Yeah, up that's what they said. It's yeah. gonna be a little windy. And you'll see there. a lot of birds too, apparently. Yeah. Almost there's the game, almost. So we think we found a spot that we can get to with the trailer. And we did find a spot. We we're did. not sure if someone's gonna take it while we're Yes, yeah, so we're racing. Came back to back. retrieve our trailer. Yeah. So we have the trailer and we're headed back. That the the trails were just way too rough. And we need an off-road trailer. But we make do and do without. Yeah, it was really a good idea to drop it where we did because there was absolutely nowhere else to turn around. Oh to turn around. Yeah. Yeah, and that was just uh and, and we're not too far from like the main trail either, so we didn't get too far into it before we had to turn around kind of thing. It was just that one uh, rock step. Yeah. And Easy. we're off. Easier okay. going down. Okay, so no one's taking the spot, <laughs> and it's gonna be great.
this dish is apparently called sisig, which is a Filipino dish. Um, it's very similar to like a uh, Thai larb, which we really like. It's kind of usually an appetizer made with pork or chicken. We are using ground chicken. Um, yeah, and we'll make a lettuce wrap out of it. Kind of savory, a little spicy, but uh, well, first time I've made it, so it's very new and exciting. Onto something, huh? Jackie, Jackie Bean, what do you call it, buddy? You need to stop. Ooh. Hello there, Floyd. Yes, yeah, so we're starting with a little salt and pepper. Get the chicken kind of browned. And then we'll start adding all those onions, jalapeno, bell pepper. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. We could add that first, actually. Jalapeno. Mm. Top is fresh. Let's see that on top. A little uh, Thai fish sauce. Kind of white stuff to add, but. This is our first time making this and eating this, so who knows? It's very exciting. Salute. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Very good. It is missing a little bit of the Thai chili. Thai chili. Thai chilies and cilantro. Uh-huh. And maybe the oyster sauce instead of fish sauce. But either way, it's good. The fish sauce is good. It's nice and easy, and it's like kind of fresh, mm. filling with the lettuce. 
Yeah, because we had not been eating so great in Prescott. A lot of pasta. Mmm. Mm. Okay, well that should be a wrap, I feel like. Yeah, it's been quite the day. We we're starving. We're starving. We're exhausted. And sun setting. So we're going to kick back and have a beer. Call yeah, it watch. This view is amazing. Um, thank Beautiful. you for watching. Please subscribe and like. And stay tuned because we're going to explore this whole muggy and rim. We're going to do a couple trails. We're going to go see a travertine bridge. A Tonto National Br Nat Natural Bridge, which is all made out of travertine. Okay, that's what yeah, it is. Really we're going to cool. go on a few hikes. So, yes, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And we appreciate it. See yeah, you next time. More to come. Mm. Wow.